Hey, what's going on everyone? Moose here, Air Guns of Michigan, and today, look at, we got the Virock HW97K out here at the range. And this is actually going to be a two-part video, but all in the same video. So, um, tomorrow I am actually taking this gun, this is 100% stock, uh, HW97K, uh, out to Vortec Products and uh, we're gonna have the Vortec kit installed in this gun. So I brought my chronograph out here to the range. I'm shooting at 50 yards. Um, you know, I just grabbed um, basically some FX 15.9 um, grain pellets. Uh, just, I got a bunch of them. And uh, it might not definitely be the pellet that I end up shooting out of the gun, but for comparison reasons, I'm gonna use strictly that pellet. So we're gonna do it before, we're gonna do an after. And uh, you know what? Let's get to doing some shooting. And uh, you know, while I do obviously want to um, have this gun be accurate, um, I'm really doing this more as a baseline. So we're going to new string and uh, we're going to uh, shoot 10 shots and uh, we'll get a, a good baseline for what the gun is going to do in front of the target. There we go. So, zoom in. Six hundred five. Six oh five. This is twenty two caliber. Six seventeen. Um, I do have quite a few shots through this gun, but uh, you know, it is what it is. It's a Springer. We'll see if we can get her more broken in. Six hundred five. Six oh five. And that's roughly uh, looks like about twelve point nine foot pounds of energy. Six twenty-six. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna see what this Vortec kit can do. Hopefully, uh, calm her down a little bit. That one didn't read. Six twelve. Six hundred twelve. Six twelve. Oh, yeah. Five registered shots. Six twelve. The groups are actually uh, tightening up as well. Or uh, that group is tightening up as well. So I'm pretty new back to Springer, so six hundred fifteen. Six fifteen. Again. Oh yeah. 
that. Nine shots, we'll do one more. Six forty nine. So, you know, one thing to keep in mind is that these are not sorted pellets. Um, you know, these are just straight out of the, the tin, and uh, you know. But overall, I mean, the group that I have down there is definitely uh, hunting friendly. Um, definitely something that uh, I could uh, be comfortable in with. Uh, but taking this gun out into the uh, the field and uh, shoot 50 yards at some some targets. So that's the uh, before the Vortec kit. And uh, once I get it back and uh, I do a little bit of break in, we'll bring it back and we'll compare these two groups. That was let's see here. That was a standard deviation of 12.1. You know, I hate to count that last one at 649, just because it's so consistent right around that 613, 614. So, you know, I'm going to blame that one on the pellet and uh, try to not, you know, hold that one. So we're going to aim it excuse me email that group to myself and uh that way we've got some some comparison so till uh i come back we'll see you guys in a couple of days after this uh new vortex kit's installed and we'll go from there one eternity later hey what's going on everyone moose here air guns of michigan and today we are going to talk part two of this video on the Virock HW97K. Um, I was fortunate enough to be able to take my Virock out to Tom at Vortec Products and have him install one of his uh, PG3 um, steel upgrade kits into my gun. And let me tell you, um, I shot this thing probably three to four hundred times before I took this to Tom and had the uh, upgrade um, kit put in this. And let me tell you, it is smooth as butter and much quieter as well. Um, I do apologize. I left my chronograph at home. I was charging the batteries, got excited about coming up here and whoops, left it at home. So, I don't have a chronograph here, but I do have chronograph numbers, and um, we'll post those uh, somewhere in this video, probably up in one of these corners, and uh, we'll show like before and after, or I'll show the numbers, uh, basically. But um, overall, just an absolute riot to shoot. The cocking on it is smooth as butter, and the... Um, here we go, we'll, we'll fire off a round or two and uh, you'll just be able to, I don't know if you'll be able to hear in this wind, but uh, I'm shooting 50 yards and just phenomenal. I mean, seriously, like I wasn't even hardly touching the gun. Um, it wasn't, I wasn't death gripping it into my shoulder or anything like that and it doesn't even move. Uh, the recoil is just absolutely almost non-existent. Just, just so smooth, buttery, buttery smooth. And uh, I'm super excited. Now, you know, this is the high output kit and a lot of people are like, well, what kind of differences can I see? Basically from right around uh, pre-kit, I was right around 640 seven to 649 ish um, and now she's right at about 660 um, so you know I, I gained 10 feet per second um, and a little bit more foot pounds of energy but more so than that it took all that spring noise out of the gun so I'm not hearing that that 
twangy of the stock spring. Not that it was that loud. It really wasn't, but once you shoot it with it and then you shoot it with, with the new upgrade kit, you can definitely tell a difference. Um, like I said, the recoil is like zero. Uh, I mean, it's, it's so smooth and just works so well with the system. Um, and like I said, you know, you really get rid of that noise. Really, the only thing that you're hearing is the, is the, um, the hammer. I mean, I guess if you want to call it that or, you know, the, the springiness in this uh, record trigger. That's really all I'm hearing. Um, and, and it's just, it's just so quiet and so smooth. It is truly an amazing gun with or without the kit, but to add the kit is just like that, the gravy on the potatoes, if you will, right? It's just so buttery, buttery smooth. So I will put up some, uh, some chronograph readings um, and uh, we'll, we'll be talking more about this. It's very windy out here today. Um, I'll include a, uh, a picture of the, the target, you know, my pellets are drifting, you know, I mean, we're talking about, a you know, a 18, 19 foot pound gun, basically, uh, you know, in heavy winds at 50 yards. So, you know, we're not expecting, you know, a laser beam. I mean, we would be if there was no wind, but, uh, still a decent little set group. And just so buttery smooth, you guys. Seriously. I definitely look forward to bringing you guys more videos of this. I absolutely love shooting this gun. It has restored my faith 100% in a good Springer. And, um, and actually, after visiting uh, Tom down at uh, Vortec Products, I was actually able to shoot some of his other guns where he's done tunings to them. And let me tell you, I have a whole new wish list of brake barrels and springers uh, on my list to bring you guys um, just because I'm just blown away at how nice a springer can actually be and it, it's kind of my my fault for not exploring these these different springers beforehand you know I had a lot of uh, springers that were very inexpensive and uh, you know nitro pistons and magnum brake barrels and you know, they're just, they're so hard for me to shoot, me personally. Maybe not for you, but for me. And, um, you know, this thing is just a dream to shoot. Like, it, it doesn't matter what I feed it. Um, it likes to just shoot. You know, of course, obviously my my velocities change with different ammunitions, but uh, overall it seems to really enjoy. Um, it does seem to enjoy the uh, FX 15.9 uh, grains. Um, I was using these to break in the gun, considering that I do plan on using um, Hades, JSB Hades, uh, for hunting with this gun. So, you know, those are 15.89 grains. So, you know, I wanted to stick with something in that ballpark, but I didn't want to waste a bunch of my Hades uh, breaking the gun in. Um, you guys all know right now, we're at a little bit of an ammo shortage in pellets. Uh, not, not terrible, but pretty bad and uh, I didn't want to be without Hades so um, I decided to sit on the tins of Hades that I have until you know I'm out shooting but um, you know it seems to like the FX 18.9 grains just just as well so um, with that being said I definitely appreciate you guys tuning in hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, Virock um, video and um, I'm gonna be shooting another video showing the difference between the stock um, spring and all of its components and the um, Vortec products. So I'm gonna go kind of not super into depth, but I'm definitely gonna show you guys the difference in the length, uh, the difference in diameters, things like that. And um, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy that as well. Till next time, I'm Moose, this is Air Guns Michigan, and we'll see you guys soon enough. Take care.